What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to change the font on individual apps. This is not just a system-wide font changer, it gives you the ability to pick different fonts for different apps. It's an exposed module, so that means you'll need to be rooted with the exposed framework installed on your device. But if you need any help with either of those things, just check out the full tutorial at the link in the description below this video. To get started, open your exposed installer app and head to the download section. From here, search Fonter, that's F-O-N-T-E-R, then tap the top result. Swipe over to the Versions tab, then hit the Download button on the most recent entry. Give it a few seconds, then hit Install on this next screen. When that's finished, you'll get a notification from Exposed telling you that the module hasn't been activated yet and that a reboot is needed. So tap the Activate and Reboot button here, and all that stuff will be done automatically. When you get back up, go ahead and open Fonter from your app drawer. After dismissing the change log, the first thing you'll need to do here is download some fonts. So head to the home entry here, and you'll get a list of all the available fonts that you can download for free. One thing to note though, is that when you're scrolling through this list, it may take a few seconds for the font previews to load. But when you see one that looks good to you, go ahead and tap it, then press download. When it's done downloading, you get a choice. You can use this as either an app font, or a system font. Making it a system font will change all of your fonts system-wide. But the app fonts supersede the system font, so those would still apply on top of your system font. I'll go ahead and show you the process of changing app fonts real quick. It gives you a list of all of your installed apps, so go through and pick whatever app that you'd like to tweak. I'll go with settings since it has a lot of text. From here just toggle the switch at the top of the screen to on, then the app's font will be changed. Depending on if the app is currently running or not, Fonter may ask if you'd like to restart it for your changes to take effect. But that's not the case here, so I'll go ahead and tap Launch Settings directly to see the new font. And I think this looks pretty cool, but there's a ton of different fonts, so you'll surely find the right look for any app that you have installed. And my new font here is only active in the Settings app, so when I head to a different app like my Launcher, the system font is still in effect. You can repeat this for other apps installed on your phone, and they will all keep their fonts separate. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.